We got the tires removed at a tire shop and now we have just the rims. It is one snowy day up here in Northern California today, but we're getting everything sandblasted at a really good friend's place. He's got a really big shop with a big sandblaster, so it worked out perfectly. Now, a really cool thing about these rims is they are the 15 inch rims. They do not sell these rims anymore. They actually sell the 16 inch rims. We have one 16 inch rim and that's the fifth one. We're gonna use that one as the spare. But the 15 inch rims are really special because you can have more meat on the tire and less rim, which I really like for off-roading. It's a lot more comfortable feel and um, makes for a better ride. Here is a great picture of all of the rims completely sandblasted. For the powder coating machine, we used just a regular powder coating system right here. This one actually came from Harbor Freight. I think I got it like 20% off uh, for like 60 bucks or something stupid like that. It has really good reviews actually. I'm not a Harbor Freight person, but this had good reviews and it was super cheap. So I ended up trying it out and it works. For the powder, I got a off-white textured color. I wanted to get textured because the rims are not perfect. If uh, they were perfect, maybe we could go for a gloss, but I also like that kind of off-road texture feel anyways, uh, so it worked out great. This is um, purchased from Cardinal Paint. It's a really good company. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I wish I was, <laughs> um, but it's uh, really good stuff. Um, this is this one's called White Texture. It's an off-white color. As you can see, uh, when I put it up against the white here, um, it's a little off-white, which matched our top. We were really concerned about not matching the top of the vehicle because um, we didn't want to have three colors. We didn't want to have the rim, the vehicle body, and the top. We just wanted two colors. The top color, which is kind of an off-white, and then the vehicle color, which is that uh, forest green color. So enough with the powder, we uh, ended up cleaning our metal with this acid metal conditioner. It's this like 303, really good stuff. I would recommend using some sort of metal conditioner if you're painting or powder coating or anything like that. Lastly, uh, why I like using powder, it, it, the big reason is protection and also when it cures. Uh, for protection, uh, it gives a nice little layer across the entire metal so once your rim gets wet or your part gets wet it's only touching this outer barrier it's not actually touching your metal so it's not going to rust or anything like that and then also you have a thicker layer there so if you scratch it hopefully it won't chip or anything lastly it won't cure until it gets into the oven which is a big deal for me because i work in close quarters inside our garage here we've got our boat inside um, so it's not gonna cure uh, and so if I spray it it's not gonna move around and then attach to this rack here and then cure it the powder might sit on here but all I have to do is just brush it off so my hands are clean and everything it just makes for a really easy cleanup because the only time it's curing is inside the oven shake and bake Here's the mess. Now, after we sandblasted them, there was still a little bit of work to do. There was a couple areas that I may have missed or had some really bad rust areas or just some really big gunky uh, mess from the grease on the axles. So we got that done with the wire brush and wow, these just turned out amazing. Having them go on the vehicle for the first time, it just looks so good. And then we have our oven here. We're cooking ourselves a brand new rim. It sure looks special. Here is my Yes Janky setup a little bit with a two chairs holding it up. And then, but it sure works. And then we got aluminum foil on the bottom to catch some extra powder. Our minion is at work today. He's working hard for us, making sure we're able to have some air to spray the powder on the rims.